Hi everyone. Well, I just sat down to play and I uh, was actually testing out this um, spray by made by SEI and they're called Tumble Dye. And I like these because they're permanent uh, once they dry and you know how I like permanent stuff, right? So I wanted to try this out, um, deliberately spraying it up close to the paper to where it made a little circular area and then let it drip down because I was thinking about doing some flowers on an art journal page. So then I started liking where this was going. So I thought I would turn on the camera and just continue just play around and um, see what this turns into. I don't have any idea, but I, um, like I said, I was just, you know, playing around, just testing it out. And um, uh, I did take a picture of what the sprays, the green, just the green spray looked like, and I'll insert that here. And then uh, because I thought, well, I'll turn them into flowers, uh, I wanted to use some white paint on the, uh, the tops because all of this is green underneath. And I knew that if I added a color <clears throat> that I would want it to be, you know, more vibrant and it works better to have, you know, add your color to a white base rather than a, in these, in this case, these were dark, dark green base. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I really, really like the organic, natural look to the way the drips run down and they're not perfectly straight and they are they just look very natural and I like that a lot. So, I, um, I just thought I would use some different colors. Um, first of all, let me say that this was just a junk, just a literal piece of junk paper that um, I had made when I was jelly printing one time and it's just kind of like um, leftover paints that were <clears throat> on the stencils and stuff like that. I mean, it literally was just something I was collecting paint on that I probably would never use. But, you know, I, I like to save that stuff just in case. And as it turns out, this actually ended up looking pretty cool on that junky background. <laughs> so don't ever throw away your... Um, you know, your pages that you think are horrible, just hold on to them because you never know. Because even if you don't do anything else, you can layer jelly prints and things right on top of them. And then sometimes the stuff that's underneath kind of shows through a little bit. It just makes, you know, a perfect print. So anyway, I'm just going to add some colorful, you know, like flower, just circle. Really just want to do some circles. I don't know what else I'll do to it. I don't have, like I said, any plan. I'm just playing. So I thought I would, um, you know, pick out like some of the colors that were already in here, like the purple, <clears throat> purplish blue color there. I'm going to use a darker color so that, of course, they'll show up better than they do would, would if I did the exact same colors. So I tried to pick out some darker, um, some darker hues, you know, so they'll pop on the page. Excuse me, and I've got a tickle in my throat that's driving me nuts. Let me get my drink. <clears throat> of course, these things never happen until you turn the camera on, right? All right. So let's see. I've just I was finger painting this white on, so I'm just going to continue with my finger because it. That also looks very organic and natural when it's, you know, when things are finger painted because they're not perfect and they're just, you know, they are what they are. <laughs> so, and because of the wrinkles in the paper, you can see how this is doing a, you know, sort of a sketchy sort of look, um, not completely filled in, all that stuff. So it's kind of fun just to play once in a while, you know, and not know what you're going to do and just see what comes of it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to play along and along, and if I add to it, I will. If I don't, you know, I won't. And I've got a baby wipe over here, wet ones that I use um, just to clean off my fingers so that the next color won't get messed up. I'm also using a, um, <clears throat> a turquoise color. 
there was a little bit of that out here on this edge, so I thought, well, I'll throw some of that in too. We'll see what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to just put a little on my finger from that, and um, I'll go over here. I love this color. It's beautiful. getting one of my uh, sheets to wipe my finger off on instead of putting on a baby wipe. Might as well put it on a sheet of my address book that I'm altering. <laughs> okay. And I got some orange. And I've got some uh, a dark pink uh, from the Liquitex Basics. I like this one too, so I thought I'd add it. There's not really any pink on here, but I think it I think it's going to be okay. <clears throat> Another color. I um, I only took out four for some reason. Maybe I was thinking green would be the fifth, but that's actually the. There's a lot of green. I don't really want to use green. Um, <clears throat> maybe. Um, I guess I could do some yellow. And hurt. I've got some yellow on my table here. I'll use that. <coughs> Might have too much here. It looks so cool. <laughs> I love it. Just put that over here. All right, since I got the rest of these a little more filled up, I think I'll add a little more purple to that one. <clears throat> to um, get the edges and all a little bit better. Alright, so I got it all dry, and um, I'm just going to add a, uh, a tiny bit of a lighter color of each one of these colors, <clears throat> just for a little highlight on the flowers, like that.
hope that I'll be able to see this one. It's all right, I guess. <clears throat> And let's see, that's not the one I want. Oops. This is the one I want. That one almost looks white, <laughs> but it's blue. Let's see, maybe I'll add a tiny bit of this to it and see what happens. can get it to come out. <laughs> okay. And let's see, the purple. The um, <coughs> the yellow is not showing up very much. I might have to use a Posca pen. I've got a Posca pen for the orange because I don't have any paint quite that light. I know I could make mix some white with some, but I just didn't want to bother with it. I think that'll be okay. Might need to add some more. Let's try that with the yellow one. Uh, still pretty pretty dark <clears throat> I'm just trying a little white there mix it in a little bit that works fine it just lightens up that side of it a little bit <clears throat> one here. And a little bit more of the pink. Okay. All right. I don't think I'm going to add any petals or anything like that to these flowers. I think I'm just going to leave circles on top of the stems and maybe add some leaves, um, you know, and stuff down there. But uh, just to just to play around, you know, just make a short video. Um, now, that's not to say I won't change my mind. <laughs> because, you know, you get inspired sometimes to do, do things you didn't plan to do. So, but for now, I'm just going to... Um, draw around the circles like scribble you know around the circles <clears throat> and just um, play around with it you know and some of this you can't quite see so I may have to get a different um, different black. Okay. 
I'm going to do some white also. Sorry about that. I'm having some issues with my camera shutting off. Got a couple of those uh, circles around. I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of thinking I do want to brighten it up a little bit, so I think I am going to add some petals. And I'm just going to finger paint again with some white and at least start there and um, put some little white petals on. And see how that looks. Okay, so we have our uh, little petals going here, and um, I think I'm just going to draw around around the petals. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, guys. I just want to have fun playing with it, but I don't know yet what I'll do with it, but it sure is fun. Before I do any more to the uh, flowers, I'm thinking I want to go ahead and use uh, the script stamp and put a little bit of that in the background. Just in case I do use it on something else later, I'll, I'll have the the full page sort of created. 
So I need my black ink. Okay. And I'll just put a little of this here and there. Texture. I'm going to add some leaves and just some other doodles and things. Um, I wanted to point out that the reason these greens are so different is I didn't shake the bottle when I first started uh, using this tumble dye spray. I didn't shake it. And so these two were the first ones and they came out this really dark color. And then I realized, or I read on the bottle that it said to shake it. So I shook it up and I got these, um, well, I don't remember which order it was now, but I think it ended up that these were the last two. And so this is the actual you know, color uh, that the greens are supposed to be, these two. So anyway, these ended up being really, really dark. And I think I wanna lighten them a little because they almost look black. So what I'm gonna do is just take the, um, I guess I'll take the Posca pen and just, um, you know, just color a, a tiny bit just to turn it white, kind of like I would do if I were painting or using gesso just to kind of turn it white and then I'll come over it with, you know, a better color green to, uh, to brighten it up a little bit. And then we'll leave what's left. We'll just leave as like shadow. So that's what I'm doing, doing here. And I noticed that these are permanent when they're dry, but I noticed that when I put white on it, just like I put the white on uh, underneath where these colors are, it, turned, it turns green just a bit. So some of that still seeps in there, but it doesn't, um, once this dries and I can go over it again with white, it will be completely white and there's no green coming back through. So I don't know why it does that with the first layer, but it does. So you can see how it's turning green. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's kind of absorbing the green uh, there just a little bit. to just go ahead with the green here, but see this will brighten it up a little bit. And I may need to add some dark shadow to some of these others over here too, to uh, balance it out. I like that. I think I like that better than it being quite so dark as it was. Okay. And I might add a little to these too just because. There, that looks so much nicer to me, so much better. And um, I think I'll try putting a little gray on here and 
some green on top of the gray just to see if that will give me enough of a dark shadow on this particular stem. This is, this is a different this is a different color green. I'm going to try the, the deeper olive green and see if that will make it darker. That's pretty good. Go. I think they look a little bit more similar now. I think I want to add some little, some little circles in the um, in the flower centers here. looks so cute and um, whimsical. I like that. Okay, that camera was giving me fits. That was the webcam I was using, and now I have the iPhone back in place, and I think we have a better picture with the iPhone anyway. But I am having problems with my webcam, you guys, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to stream again, because I was using that to stream with, and it just is not behaving, so. Bear with me while I get things worked out, okay? <clears throat>
I like this. It turned out really cute. <laughs> it's fun to play, and it turned out really sweet. I like it. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna call it done for just a playing around picture. It turned out kind of sweet. Uh, literally, all I was doing was testing out the, uh, the spray to see how the drip would run and make a stem. <laughs> so I'm really tickled with it. And, um, and even the background, I love the background, even though it was, like I said earlier, it was just a junk page and um, and it didn't really mean anything to me at all, so I'm just really, I'm really surprised that it turned out really sweet. So it was fun. So I just encourage everybody to just play because, you know, I didn't know I was going to do this. So get your get your paints out and your markers and and stuff and just play. You never know what's going to turn out. Okay, you guys, I will. Uh, go and see if I can get this uploaded and uh, we will see you again on the next video and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.